everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. And today is gonna be one of my briefer videos. Um, it's a short video because we're focusing on a particular product. Um, this is the Dior Forever Highlighter. Now, I think they're referred to as luminizers. Yes, Couture Luminizers in 001 Nude Riviera and 002 Pink Riviera. They come in the packaging that we have seen before, which is that um, patent leather. There we go, cushion compacts. They're the thin size. And um, these are new luminizers for 2022. I believe they are summer releases, but you know, um, who knows? I have seen them in pictures with the rest of the Dior summer release. So that's why I think that's the case, but I haven't gotten confirmation of that. So I wanna be careful. This will be up on Patreon first. Um, so you'll see it there. This is 001 Nude, and this is 002 Pink Riviera. Um, I'm gonna swatch them on my back of my hand, and then we're gonna put them on my face, and I will tell you that they are sheer. They are not um, like the other uh, luminizers from, I think last year, that had like the rosewood, for example, that had a lot of pigment to it. These do not. These are much lighter um, and in my opinion, reflect a quote, real like luminizer. So this shade right here is the pink, which you can hardly see. And this is the nude. I'm gonna let the camera kind of focus for a second, but I think you'll be able to tell that the, they are definitely sheer. They are not deep luminizers. They don't have more of like that blush kind of highlight blush kind of thing. These are just luminizers for the face. They're really, I don't think anyone could really use them as a blush. Just that's my take. Um, all right, so we're gonna use them on the high points of my face here. We're gonna use a Chikahoto. This is a KZ03 uh, cheek highlighter brush. And I'm gonna go in with the pink first. And I'll show you, like you can get quite a bit on the brush and it's still just gonna be a highlight. Beautiful highlight, but it's a highlight. It's very, very light and very sheer. Now, I love this type of highlight because for me, being pale and I don't like a ton of like highlight, I like something that's more luminescent, this is perfect. But what I would say is when you look at the pink versus the nude, on the face, I don't notice a tremendous difference. Um, the pink is definitely pinker and the nude is definitely nude, like more of a, I hate the word, well I should say, I, I dislike the word nude, but um, it's, it's a more of like a neutral beige shade um, and this one's more of a pink shade. So I think you can see that the, the highlight is beautiful, the luminescence is beautiful, but I don't really get the impression that it's like strong. I want to compare it to um, the recent release from uh, Chanel which is the Camellia powder. And the Camellia powder, if you, if you see it, it looks um, kind of neutral in the pan, but it does have a pink cast to it. Um, and it actually does have this uh, pinkish shade when you put it on the skin. And so I'm gonna show it to you next to, I've ruined the Camellia, uh, these other uh, luminizers. And I think you'll see that they're actually very similar in their uh, feel. So this is the, the Chanel. You can, like I said, you can hardly see it on my skin. This is the Chanel, the Camellia. This is the Nude Riviera, and this is the Pink. And so the Chanel is lighter in shade. Um, it's, it's got a little bit more of a warmth actually to it. And then the nude is, is a deeper shade, not by much, but a little bit, and the pink is pinker. So I think the comparison is that these are more like, and I'm gonna put more of it on, just build it up a little bit. I think these are more like the Chanel. Um, they have more of that lightness, silkiness, luminescence that um, I think a lot of us that are older do like, um, because I think you can see it a little better now. Here's the Chanel, here's the, here's the nude, here's the pink. 
It's just a nice, beautiful, light luminescence for your face. There isn't a lot of pigment, and I don't think there's a lot, I, if I see, I don't see any glitter or any, um, uh, you know, uh, shimmer. It's just luminescence, which I think is quite beautiful. And I love it on the face, but I want you all to know it's not like, it's not strong. It's not, it's not like, in my opinion, like a strobe highlighter, you know? You're not gonna get that with these. Let me also compare, uh, compare it to the Hermes. This is Mirage. Um, and I compared this to the um, Chanel and I said, if I had a pick, I would pick the Chanel and I, I still would. The Hermes is grittier than all of these. Um, and it has, there's the, the Hermes. The Hermes is more of a gold, like a real just gold. Whereas this one is the pink Dior, which is pink. This is the new Dior, which is quote, more nude. And here's the Chanel, which I think is more like a peachy pink. But again, it's really hard to see the difference. I don't think you see a drastic difference between the Dior and the Chanel, to be honest. Um, the, the Hermes, yes, you do. The Hermes is, is definitely a different shade. It's gold. And honestly, the Hermes, when I put it on my face, does highlight texture more than the, the Dior's or the Chanel. Again, that's just me, but um, if I had a pick, I'd still pick the Chanel because I think the, um, I think the shade is like perfect. Not too pink, not too warm. Uh, has a little bit of peach, a little bit of pink. Plus, to me, the Camellia is just, I, I love the design. I think it was really beautifully done. And for luxury, you know, you're paying for packaging as well. Um, now, the Dior's, I put the pink, as I said, on my face, and I think you can see it. It's a beautiful luminescence, but it's not, it's, it's subtle. If you're looking for a subtle highlight, a luminescence like I do, I think it's worth it, and I love it. But if you're looking for a strobe highlighter, this is not what you're, you're looking for. So let me put on the uh, nude. This is the nude Riviera all over the face. And the reason I'm doing that, I'm doing a very fluffy brush, like super fluffy. This is the KZ01. So this is a very soft brush, but you can see I'm not like skimping. I'm, you know, I got a lot on my brush here and I'm just gonna like sort of lightly put it on my face, just all over. I think you can see it leaves a beautiful glow to my whole face, but it didn't like deepen my skin tone. It didn't, you know, it just looks like a glowy luminescent look, but you can't see like the tiny, there's not little tiny particles all over my face or anything. So these are products, in my opinion, these luminizers, that are true luminizers. They can be used as a highlight, absolutely, but I think they work better uh, almost as like a luminosity for your face. And if you want to use them as a highlighter, what I would do instead of using the very soft brush that I just used, which was incredibly soft, and again, there's nothing wrong with that, but you're gonna get a very diffused look, is to take a denser brush, let me grab, put it in and then you get more of that highlight. See now that is a highlight, see what I mean? So you wanna to wanna to use this if you're looking for that really like highlight look, use a dense brush. Use something that is a little bit stiffer that can give you the glow that you want. And if you're looking for a very light diffuse luminescence, you can get that with a very soft brush. So I think these work as both, but if you just pull them out and use a soft brush and kind of put it over your face, I think you're just gonna get more of this luminescent look, which again, I love and works great for me. Um, but if you really want it to work, quote, as a highlighter, and you want this, you know, real directed, highlighty kind of uh, look, use a denser brush to get it. I think it works, and I think they're beautiful products. Um, if I had to choose between the Chanel and Dior, like I said, I think I'd still pick the Chanel. Not because I think it's so much better. I think they're very similar. When you feel them, they feel very similar. Um, and they look 
very similar. I mean, you can hardly see the difference between this one. This is the Chanel, this is the nude, here's the pink. It's really tough to tell the difference. Um, the Dior, the Hermes, like I said, is gold. And so you can see the difference pretty quickly. Uh, and it's grittier in feel. But between the Dior and the Chanel, I don't think there's a great difference. I think it depends on uh, shade, because the Chanel is a little bit more neutral. Uh, it's more peach. If you like a pink, I'd go with the Dior. And the, the nude is, the nude is still a little bit more pink than the, the Dior actually, I mean the Chanel actually. The Chanel is a little bit more peachy. But I gotta say guys, I think they're, all three of them are beautiful. I love the, the luminosity of these and the fact that they're more, I don't know. I, I, I understand what people like, like a really stroby highlighter, I get it. But at my age, it, it does accentuate texture and I feel like these are more mature skin friendly. That's just me. So um, I, these are definite wins in my book. I love them. Um, would I say they're, you need to have them? No, because they're not they're not revolutionary in, in product, but they are beautiful luminizers. Um, I don't think there's a drastic difference between the two shades. That's all I'd say. Because they're sheer, because they're more luminous, this shade and this shade, I don't think are that different. That's, that's all I'd say. So I'd say, you know, if you like it a little bit pinker, get that one. If you like it a little bit more warm, get that one, but they're really close. And on the skin, I don't think you see a drastic difference. Again, you can use them as a highlight with a denser brush or as a luminizer all over your face with a big fluffy brush. And they work beautifully both ways. I've been using these for quite some time in a lot of my videos that I haven't mentioned the highlighter that I've used or the, the glow that I have. These are what I've been using. I think they're excellent. I think they're very similar to the Chanel formula. So you can decide which ones you want to pick up. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.